One would comfortably say that the sector that's driving forex earnings for this country is tourism. Because last year, the sector plowed in over $1.5 billion. Now, that's a lot of money. You're talking about over 3 trillion Uganda shillings plowed in by a single sector. Now, one of the sector's segments that hasn't been developed for long is marine. Marine tourism is a huge potential that Uganda sits on and hasn't yet explored. We find out from those that have already taken a step in that direction of how deep a potential this presents and what can be done to tap this. In 2018, a makeshift boat filled with revelers keen on having a good time at one of the several resorts thrown along Lake Victoria shores capsized, killing tens of people. Among these were rich, classy Ugandans, many passing as middle-class citizens. The big question then was why such a caliber of citizenry would use such a boat. According to marine sector observers, the answer lies in the low investment the sector has attracted over the years. We want to, uh, people to have a different experience of, of uh, experiencing the lake. Um, there's some, some few people who have some small boats onto the lake, uh, but we, we, are, we are not using it enough. Uh, we have beautiful islands like the Kalangala Islands, uh, Bukasa. The, there's, a, there's a lot of places that are not accessible because the infrastructures that we have at the moment are not, are not suitable, either for international tourism, local tourism, or just for people that want to go and do business, for example, on Kalangala. Today, given how important the tourism sector is to the country and how central the role marine tourism can play in pushing this sector further, the investors that have come in to fill the gap. We have seen a big growth in the local tourism as well, which is something that we really want to, 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 uh, to advertise and to, uh, and to, bring, and to bring to the market. There's, uh, the U Ugandans are starting to travel a lot more, which is, which is good. They're starting to have uh, that extra income to go and have fun on the weekend. And, and, and these kinds of businesses are giving them the option to do that. We have two boats, which is a huge investment. For now, we're going to try and make sure that we can run these two boats effectively on, on our lake. But um, in, in the future, I am hoping that other people will be bringing boats into, in, into the, this lake. Um, we welcome competition. It means that more people will be enticed to go on the lake. So I do hope that some people will be following our examples. Tourism is today the leading foreign exchange earners in Uganda with a total contribution to GDP amounting to over $1.5 billion, representing 9% of the national GDP. Much more, however, can be attained if the country's water bodies are well tapped for marine tourism. When you look at the map of Uganda, what you first see is Lake Victoria. But you find that we have hardly even explored it so that we get the tourism potential. For example, it takes only 15 minutes to reach the equator. It is the shortest way for tourists and I think this should be a very big selling point. We have 84 islands in Kalanga. Imagine all those islands if they were to be explored either for farming, tourism, cottages, whatever it is. One of the things we want to do, especially with the coming of the second boat, is to ensure that we now partner, we are looking for partners in terms of resorts across the East, three East African countries. We start having, you know, annual by annual trips and we take tourists, Ugandans or foreign, across East Africa. So we can move from here, we go to Jinja, we go to Kisumu, we go to Mwanza, we come back. And this is something that we can do and it can take even a week. Today, several sector players have started investing into this area, but many feel that this is a journey they cannot go alone. Uh, we have had a lot of support from the Ministry of Works and Transport so far. Uh, and um, the only thing that I can say is, is, uh, is for, for the ministries to keep to keep um, inspecting the boats as rigorously as they are doing now to make sure that everyone is safe uh, and, to, and to promote uh, transportation of cargo and passengers on the lake. At some point we're going to have to go back on, 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 on the lake. It's, it's cheaper to, to, to transport cargo on water than it is on, than, than it is on the road. It's conge congesting our roads and uh, on, with one engine on a boat you can carry a lot more weight than if you had that same engine in a truck for, for example. Besides Uganda playing host to the continent's biggest freshwater body, Lake Victoria, 
The country has numerous other bodies ranging from rivers and falls to create lakes that can be tapped for tourism. The needed investment to exploit this potential, however, continues to lag behind the potential.